Hello, welcome to Iridium Rock and Metal Reviews, and today I'm going to do well. I'm going to do a couple of reactions. The first one being off the new solo album by Joel Hoekstra. So Joel Hoekstra has got a band called Joel Hoekstra's Thirteen. If anyone doesn't know, Joel Hoekstra is the White Snake, one of the White Snake lead guitarists, ex Night Ranger, um, and he bought he's bought some solo stuff out before. I think originally some instrumental stuff then he bought joel hoekstra's 13 album out i haven't actually heard that at all for some reason and now he's got a new song out from the forthcoming album um the song's called hard to say goodbye and off the album called running games which is out february the 12th 2021 so in this band though bit of a super group really so he apart from himself who's an amazing guitarist um, he's got Russell Allen on vocals so Symphony X vocalist um, Adrenaline Mob and I some brilliant stuff he's done with Jean Londe the uh, Alan Londe stuff got Tony Franklin on bass X Blue Murder Vinnie Appice on drums Vinnie Appice man X Sabbath and Dio obviously Derek Sherinan on the keyboards, Black Country Communion Band, and Jeff Scott Soto on backing vocals. Jeff Scott Soto on backing vocals. I mean, man, that's just mad. So, don't know anything about it. It's been out a few days, this song, Hard to Say Goodbye on YouTube. Um, and I haven't, I've meant to keep, I wanted to listen to it, but I meant to keep away from it. Someone's actually recommended to me to listen to it. Um, and I thought I'd do a reaction instead of listening to it for the first time. So, really excited to hear this. Um, and sometimes with when guitarists bring solo albums out, it's all about the guitar and more instrumental and stuff like that. So I'm excited to hear, if it's going to be a bit different than that, what the songwriting's like mainly. Um, this is Joel Hoekstra's 13 and Hard to Say Goodbye. Here we go. Oh 
let's pause it there just before the guitar solo i think coming up there so yeah it's a brilliant so harks right back to the 80s even early 80s i'd say real classic rock this is but um, there's some bands that try and do classic rock these days and they just can't quite pull it off this is brilliant this is fucking brilliant so really impressed with the songwriting really does remind me of white snake obviously the connections are there with joel hoekstra being the white snake guitarist at the moment but not so much it's just about white snake you know there's a lot of influences pulled in here um at, i love the guitar riff going through it really catchy guitar riff even on its own the guitar riff is so catchy i tell you what jeff scott soto is really what a choice to bring him in bucket backing vocals because he's his voice against russell allen and russell allen's got an amazing such a strong classic rock voice but to have jeff scott soto doing the backing vocals and adding the harmonizing to it and making it sort of a soft real softer sort of sound on the backing vocals is a brilliant touch what a touch what an excellent idea i absolutely love this at the moment and the production's really spot on it doesn't suffer from the modern production that i always go around about which sounds crap it's got a real clear precise production i can hear the guitar i can hear everything that's going on it's a brilliant song so far and i'm really excited to hear the guitar solo because obviously joel hoaxer is an amazing guitarist so here we go can't wait to hear the rest of it now i'm gonna won't stop it now and, and i'll give you my views on the end and especially the guitar solo here we go what a song absolutely brilliant I, you know russell allen's such a great vocalist and what he did in this song as well because of the type of song it was which is brilliant on with him by the way he sort of softened his voice a little bit compared to other stuff i've heard him sing even he, he's got an absolutely fantastic voice but he, he can sing a little bit he never sings harsh he never sings like fresh metal vocals or anything but sometimes a little bit more aggressive he sort of like was a bit softer on this and i think it it just suited the song down to the ground the solo was pretty cool because it started off with keyboard solo and i never to tell you the truth i've never been a fan of keyboard solos i don't mind keyboards running through songs but i think it was quite cool it didn't last too long and it sort of it got me excited for the solo if that made sense it was it was pretty cool there was nothing wrong with that whatsoever so an absolutely brilliant brilliant song classic rock done right absolutely loved it 
absolutely loved it. I'm so looking forward to the album, if that's anything to go by. Definite White Snake vibes, obviously going through that. Love the little breakdown as well after the after the guitar solo. Very White Snakey again. It sort of like goes a little bit quiet and then builds back into the song. Absolutely fantastic song. Absolutely love it. And another bit of good music to listen, you know, to look forward to. Like I keep saying, it's not just about the 80s anymore. There's some great music and you can just imagine that one. You can imagine that song, early 80s, even maybe a little bit later, being a massive, massive hit for a band. Absolutely perfect song. Loved it. I can't wait to hear the album or any other music that's going to come off of this album. Brilliant. Thanks for listening. If you want to subscribe, please press the red button, bottom right-hand corner.